quick one here. Yeah. Ever since I started making my kids sleep every afternoon, like I always make sure, you know, they nap in the afternoon, they have their siesta. I have noticed that all of us are generally happy, okay? I'm generally happy. My children are generally happy. You know, they wake up refreshed. They're no longer as cranky as they used to be. Then I have a few moments to myself, you know, while they are around. So it's been bliss, okay? And I'm so, so happy that I actually decided to enforce it because initially, whenever I tried to make them sleep and they refuse, I always like just leave them to continue watching their tabs. As long as they're not disturbing me, just keep watching your tab. But I realized that it always didn't end well, okay? They always had a one person must have a meltdown, sometimes two of them at the same time. So now it is now compulsory in my home every afternoon. Once you come back from school, once you've eaten, you just go and lie down and have a nap, okay? That being said, this video is sponsored by A Day's Space. <laughs> this video is sponsored by me, okay? Yeah, please you guys, you can follow me on Instagram. I've been posting a lot on Instagram lately. Like, I'm proud of myself of how much I post on Instagram. I post reels and all of that. And also, my kids have their own page. It's called JD Sister. So I post more of my kids. In fact, I post my kids, it's their page, okay? So I post pictures of my kids on their page and then my own page I post uh, everything okay so at Adese Space and JD Sisters is the name of my kids Instagram page and yeah so please you guys should go and follow me okay my husband is supposed to be coming back today and I'm excited I can't wait for him to come back so I'm just waiting I've been editing a video here um, I'm just uploading a video now um, you guys know that we're doing vlogmas, so I have been uploading every single day. I also want to make a concussion for my children. I don't know what I'll call it, but basically I want to boil pineapple, um, ginger, garlic, um, lemon, and um, I will now add honey to it. Like just a warm, you know, juice or whatever. I want to do that and give it to Cora, to give it to everybody. Everybody going to drink it except Sophia because of the honey but everybody's going to drink it because i don't know what's flying in the air but i need that thing that's flying in the air to pass to pass my compound i need to jump and pass sophia Today, I want to go to the market. I want to go to ATM first, then I'll go to the market. I want to start buying some food stuff for Sophia's birthday because I'm going to be cooking the food myself. God help me. I still have time to change my mind, but I just want to cook the food myself because, yeah, I just want to cook the food myself. <laughs> I hope I'm not setting myself up for, you know, stress, but I'll try. I'll try and do some things the day before. So that morning, I'll just start cooking before I have my bath and start doing other things. Yeah, so let me just try and go to the market. I'll carry you guys along. Let's go. Guys, I just got to the bank now only to realize that I don't have my ATM card. Oh, I can't go. I'll go to the market like that and just buy things with them. Um, transfer. I hope they do transfer. <laughs> At Obuna Bali, I feel like I come here almost every Christmas, every December, maybe around this time every December. <laughs> That's when I come here. I want to buy some tomatoes and um, just a few things in bulk. Not serious bulk, or maybe like half of a bulk. <laughs> Like instead of one basket, I'll buy like half baskets, but that is usually that's more than I usually buy because I usually buy one paint bucket. I prefer to just buy just one paint. What does paint? What they call it? Custard rubber. Yeah. So I buy one custard rubber anytime I want to cook. But because I'm doing um, Sophia's, I'm cooking Sophia's food and um, bedroom food. Plus, let's have stew in the house. Plus, you know, yeah, it's Christmas period. Let's buy you know more than usual. So. That is why I'm here in the market. This I should drop my number on, the, on my windshield, but I cannot find um, a pen here. So let me look for a pen and drop my number and enter into the market. Um, 
They have lemon. Okay. Um. This thin tomato is that? Wait, let me see. Is that clapper? Three type they have. They have Sonia, Abi, and what Gino. Okay, you only one different. I'm buying apple, but they have other things here. So there's pear, there's orange, there's um, lemon. How much? How much last? Near my house, I buy pineapple. Seven hundred. I buy seven hundred near my house. That's where I'm going. I want to go and buy some other stuff. So this is where they sell frozen foods. So let me go and check. Did you miss me? Yep. But this small basket, yes. So you have the uh, bag of rice. Mm. Which one? Two five or one? Uh, twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. You now I was saying that I that I found out about rice now. That even opened the boot safe. I have something I used to put inside what? the car to make it smell nice. I'm a woman. I do market things. I market. So the car is expected to look like that. Mm, look at look at here. Come on. What's that? This one is even it's gone. Which one? The other one now. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Garlic. They can just clean it now. When they finish cleaning town, now put that in. I used to put them. I'm gonna carry it. Oh, they call it now. The fuser oil. When you make the milk, you can give it to her father. Her father give her. Then she will sleep. <sighs> you guys, I give up for myself and bug vibe, okay? I give up because uh, there's nothing they can do about it. <laughs> so I went to the market to buy tomatoes and everything. So I went to first, I just went to like two shops. And prices they told me, I'm like, okay, let me keep going. So when I got to the third shop, I was just like, you know what? Let me just buy from here. I don't really have time for this, okay? Let me just buy. So I now price them. So she told me this was six five. That is the basket of tomatoes. It's a small basket. And I told her five five. As I priced from four thousand till I got to five five, she now agreed five five. I now bought it. Then Tata share, she told me um two thousand for the bucket and was like ah it's expensive oh. i thought that the share was not cheap and i said okay and i priced that one five she said no she can't do one five it's one eight last i said okay i now bought it one eight only for me to now after buying from her and i realized i wanted more and i said okay let me go to the next shop and go and buy and i went to the next shop and she told me one three for that i was like eh and i said how much last she told me one two last for what I just bought one eight from the woman beside her. I told the woman that you've cheated me, Abby. You cheated me. The woman was just looking at me. And I said, don't worry now. If you see me in your shop next time, then you know that you did well. You cheated me. How much you five hundred naira do in your life? I'll be six hundred naira. How much did you do in your life now that you cheated me this any money? But at the end of the day, I may cheat myself because why didn't I price more or why didn't I go to other places? But you know now, because anyway, I, the, the first two places I went to, they told me one eight, one eight. So when I now got here and she told me two thousand, and I priced one one five. She now told me no last one eight. And I said, okay, maybe the price is one eight, not knowing that. Although, although what I don't console myself small is that her own was fresher than the other Amazon that I bought. But the freshness is not 600 naira freshness, okay? It is not 600 naira worth of freshness. <laughs> anyway, so um, I bought green pepper. This is two kilos of green pepper. I bought it for 2000 naira. I feel like it's expensive as well, but okay. Then I bought pepper, ordinary pepper. This is 300 naira pepper. 
then I bought um, frozen chicken, I bought attaché, I bought fruits, I bought apples. Yeah, so we need to sort this out. But like I said, Amarachi is not around, so the work that we're about to do now is going to be a lot. But I'm up for it. Okay, my husband is hungry. Let me give my husband food first and then come back and face this work head on. So guys, um, I'm done for now. I still need to go back and finish up with the tomatoes and I'll carry them and go and grind. That's the work I don't like, okay? The grinding, the washing, but I'm not the one washing it. And then the cooking it down, I don't like that work. But afterwards, uh, hey, I can now enjoy it. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just having my breakfast to lunch. This is rice and suya and that suya chicken and banana. Um, this year, I bought it to use and do diet though. But in fact, I feel like I gained weight after I bought this year. <laughs> so I just said my husband his lunch now. He's eating the same thing, rice and suya. That reminds me. Let me know if you guys, if you don't have a microwave in your house and you don't need one. Let me know if it applies to you because right now, our microwave, our microwave got spoiled. I don't even think it's a serious issue. I'm sure it can be repaired or whatever. But since then, even before it got spoiled, I wasn't really using it. But since the guy's spot, I wasn't using it at all. Like, I'm actually them weren't even using it at all. Okay? And I've never really needed it. I don't even see the use of going to buy a microwave now. Because most times we bring out food in the morning. Like, what I'm going to eat that day, we bring it out of the freezer in the morning. So before it's time to warm it, it's already, you know, thawed and defrosted. And then most times I warm things in my oven. Like, things like this chicken now. I prefer it. I prefer the taste when you warm it in the oven. I prefer the taste when you warm anything in the oven. Okay? So... I just use my oven to warm things. I don't even like let me know because I still feel like oh I'm supposed to go and buy. I mean I, I feel like every house is supposed to have you know a microwave, but I've not needed it. And this microwave is spoiled a while ago, but I've not needed it even once. I've not even for once said, Oh, I wish I had a microwave. So let me know if you don't have a microwave in your house and if it is working perfectly for you. And let me know if you have a microwave. Can you think of life without a microwave? Is it a lifesaver for you? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me just eat my food and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.